हेलो गाइस हाय ऑल वेरी वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू ऑल बोर्ड स्पीड रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस 3.0 एडिटोरियल सेशन एम आई ऑडिबल जस्ट कंफर्म Manoj, very good morning. Acha, you bought the super elite plan. I think the best decision because instead of going for individual plans, you have got done a good, great thing. Like you will get access to all the courses for upcoming exams, which is great. Okay. So very good morning, Pavitra, Shankar, Jyotsna, Gargi, Akhil, and guys, a very very happy Shivratri to all. A happy Maha Shivratri to all of you. Right, so all the wishes for everybody here. Yeah, may Lord Shiva give you all the strength, the power, the success, whatever you want. Right. So very good morning and a very happy Mahashivratri to all my students. Okay. So yesterday also I gave you some homework which a few of you have done. Uh, I'll just mention the names. No, it is not buffering. Everything is okay at my side. Just check uh, Gargi and others also give me confirmation. Audio video is all fine. Right. Huh. Good morning, Nishtha. Right. I think everything is okay. Everything is fine. Yeah. People who commented on yesterday's editorial for the homework question, excellent work, guys. So that is Manjunath, Surbhi Priya, very good uh, with the homework part. Pavitra, Paras, Gargi, Priyanka. Then we have Manoj with the witty answers, of course. Selvi, Prabuda with the complete summary. Madhu. Arvind and Anurag. So, I guys, I would request all of you to continue this habit. Whenever I give you a, an a homework for you know a editorial to mention in the comments, do answer. Okay, all right. So, chalo, let's begin. Today is a very short editorial from Indian Express. Now you know these days all your newspapers are actually filled with the Russia Ukraine news or editorials regarding those. So read more of that to get a clear picture what is happening, why India stands, all of those, right? Okay, like yesterday also when I gave you an editorial, uh, which was regarding the Russia-Ukraine also and India stands, right? Uh, so that was also important. So the other two which I suggest you to read, try and do that, guys. Minimum three per day. Remember our target: minimum three editorials per day. If you read completely. Understand the meaning in detail, in depth. Discuss with somebody that will give you the best, you can say, uh, benefit in the section overall English. Okay? ठीक है? अच्छा लड़के इतने कम क्यों रहते हैं सुबह सुबह? लड़के उठते नहीं हैं ना आलसी होते हैं. Girls are not lazy. Maybe that is the reason. Okay. Share the session. No, tell everybody. Wake up everybody and tell them to join this. Okay, now guys, we have come up with LPS course means only practice sessions combining all your sections. It is live practice session for RBI, and that too it is a prelims batch, prelims practice. So all three sections will be there. Now you can enroll for this course using code Harshita and get discount more than forty percent if you want. You can use my code here. Now we have RBI assistant separate batch also in which live classes are also there. Clerk, as big clerk, which many of you have started preparing, I know. So all these courses available to people who have super elite plan. So if you want to access, like I say, multiple courses, and the best plan on Olibot, right, for banking students is this one, super elite. If you go for super elite, all banking related, uh, you know, courses that will be there, you will have access. Okay, so go for this. Use code Harshita, right? Uh -huh. Now let's. Don't forget the universal code. One more thing which I wanted to share is uh, on Instagram. If you are there, I know you are there for entertainment, but for education also you can join. Harshita dot the grammar girl is my Insta handle, wherein you can join me for good content which I keep sharing. Also on Telegram, which is Harshita Kurana the grammar girl. Okay, so these two: Telegram, Instagram. Okay, uh -huh. for class updates for. PDFs on Telegram. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Swati, I will do that. Uh, Swati, I hope you will ping me on Telegram also. And congratulations for clearing SEBI grade uh, phase SEBI grade A phase one exam. Excellent job, Swati. I will definitely guide you for grade two descriptive. Just ping me once on Telegram. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Right. 
uh okay we can do that gargi now that everything is final this sunday we can have quiz sessions also okay i'll be available so let's start guys from the revision part with the revision part from yesterday's uh, editorial okay these are the yes words we discussed yesterday i hope all of you remember these tell me what is a plight flying hawks very very uh, you can say a happy mahashivratri to you also plight is a difficult situation okay i will write whatever answers you will give me today plight hota hai a difficult condition difficult situation right fiasco what is a fiasco complete failure exactly fiasco is we discussed yesterday complete failure facilitate facilitate means provide you give facility you make something easier for someone make something easier facilitate is provide give a facility make something easier okay surfeit what is this guys s u r f e i t surfeit is yes very good it is just a synonym of surplus correct excellent too much of something okay can i write surplus yes too much of something surplus okay anemic what will you write for anemic too little less okay lack of something right anemic will become lack pre dominantly what is pre dominantly majorly mainly right mainly pre dominantly mainly okay turmoil what is a condition of turmoil great confusion turmoil yes great confusion okay deficiencies guys what are deficiencies again lack of something deficient is lack empirical i told you this empirical field if i say uh, for example medicine we discussed yesterday so it is empirical field of medicine why did we say empirical field based on what empirical is based on practical experiences experiments rather than theory based on practical experiments and not theory rather than theory okay yeah based on practical experiments not ideas not based on ideas not theories practical experiments okay personnel are professionals personnels are people who are professionals ibps full form you all know right institute for banking personnel selection okay personnel right chalo so we remember these words very basic from yesterday's newspaper now coming to today's article of the day is checkmate russia so this i have taken from indian express newspaper hmm. so checkmate russia is the topic today let's read it together guys and i want all of you to first read it by your own understand whatever you can okay what is a checkmate situation can anybody tell me uh, in a particular game we say no chess checkmate what what does it mean
How many of you play chess? Anybody who plays chess here? Ha, empirical you can say, logical gargi based on experiments, yeah. Surprisingly defeat, end or win, okay, deadlock situation, yes, okay. Ha. So when I say checkmate Russia, they are in a situation where they have lost the game, okay, uh, that is the context here, right. Chalo. I'll write the meanings for all the other words for all of you and you read quickly. See, when your feet dragging means you are basically deliberately, intentionally delaying something. Okay, that is the same context here. Uh, you are delaying, trying to delay something intentionally, deliberately. In the wake of means aftermath, as a consequence. We use as a consequence to say what will be the result of something. Usually when it is unpleasant result. Uh, unpleasant result as a consequence. Okay, loan means single, sliver of hope. Sliver of hope is tiny, little, very little hope. Extremely tiny shred of hope. Okay, sliver. Small, very little sliver we say. Okay, little hope, very little hope. Okay, so very, very little hope, extremely small hope. Right? Huh. So, checkmate Russia. So, they have no chance to escape from losing Satya, excellent, that you have mentioned. Uh, yeah, checkmate is exactly that, the title you have to understand. Sport is finally pulling its way. Now, sport is also working same way hard as others, okay, in international affairs. How? How? Guys, they are proving to live up to. When you live up to expectations means you fulfill your expectations, right? You feel, fulfill something. Okay, you live up to. When we say live up to, this phrase means you fulfill the expectations. And this is a phrase. Okay. In the wake of is also a phrase. In the wake of. Okay. So here I will write live up to meaning fulfill expectations. Okay. Match up to something. So sport is actually proving how how sport is matching their expectation they have they have this uh, you know sport is considered pathfinder for the youth it is a cliche we always keep saying sport is a pathfinder for youth now this time sport sport is actually living up to that particular idea okay a very very small hope in the wake of after the russia's invasion of ukraine football okay huh. 
more through its players than its feet dragging administrators so the players are taking a stand players have gone ahead and moved the summer's biggest club draw the champions league final they have moved out of russia so players are taking a stand okay unlike their feet dragging administrators who are not willing who are resistant to do this but sports players they have taken a stand they are moving the champion league out of russia okay so obviously on russia we have read there are many economic sanctions right uh right uh, there are penalties for disobe uh, disobeying economic sanctions means sanctions means uh, official orders wherein their businesses will be limited okay contacts with a particular uh, one they are restricted there are many restrictions for that we have made for russia okay uh, so the official permission that they have the order that they have okay uh, uh, they have Uh, economic sanctions means they are hit by economic sanctions they are hit by many restrictions they are not allowed to do so many things okay even their financial assets are frozen okay they are not allowed to use those assets now okay so all of this is happening now sports person have also joined hands and they have moved the biggest football uh, game which is champions league final out of russia okay so this is what is mentioned here okay how sports people have taken the stand clear clear everybody ha huh. there have been restrictions correct hmm. yes gargi live up to means as a phrase we use live up to the expectations okay right next continue continue reading all of you Tell me, guys. Very small para here. Nothing visibly isolates. So nothing but there is a contrast. See, everybody. There are there are sanctions on Russia. They have restricted them. Okay, but major is how they are isolated, guys, by the sports player. It is a football mad nation. Okay, they are football crazy. Okay, so Russians are actually football crazy. Here they have clearly mentioned. okay now this is the biggest way they can be isolated okay how they are the games are taken out of russia okay ha huh. so like the refusal to engage with it on a football field with poland sweden and the uh, czech republic czech republic we say right czech republic refusing to play their world cup qualifiers against russia and belarus football has used its influence and power to express its strong feeling of disappointment with the invasion so russia invaded ukraine they entered their country with all their army to control ha take control of ukraine which did, footballers also did not like so the football mad nation is isolated why because these other countries have decided not to play okay they world cup qualifiers against russia okay so how they are using football guys okay the game how the games power the games influence is used to show or express the feeling of disappointment on what on russia's actions is it clear yes cloud meaning influence their power okay and one more thing here um uh, yeah so how football mad nation they are i see the first line if they saying nothing visibly isolates means the biggest hit that russia will get because they are a football crazy nation is this only okay they will be isolated by other countries okay and other countries will not engage in the football game with them okay all right next
Okay, done reading. <clears throat> what is revoking? We have done this word so many times. Uh, invasion entering other country with the full force. Mahalakshmi invasion is that. Okay, to control the other country you enter. Okay, when one countries enter the other country, try to invade. Like what is currently happening? Russia is invading Ukraine, right? Uh, so you read daily newspapers. Okay, even in the news you are watching that. Revoke is nullify, officially cancel, okay, make it invalid, revoking, okay. So, yeah, uh, please remember, huh. so the invasion that is happening by Russia in Ukraine, okay, they are entering the uh, Ukraine with an army to take control of it, okay, huh. destructing the place, okay. Huh. Yeah, Gargi, tell me your doubt. Yeah, Arun, I agree with your point. USA also, see in international affairs, this happens, right? So countries take stand at a particular place, whereas not at other places, that is true. Huh. Invasion has brought the spotlight, the focus on Russian oligarchs. Who are oligarchs? Okay. Hmm. Oligarchy or oligarchs. Even in marketplace, if there is oligarchy, means there are few players in the market. For example, petroleum industry. In petroleum, is there a lot of competition? No. Petroleum, there are few players. So, oligarchy. Okay. So, small group of powerful people, they control a country or an organization. It is called oligarchs. Okay. Now, focus is on Russian groups, oligarchs. Their ownership of clubs. Okay. So, they have, they notably, uh, obviously, uh, Chelsea, Chelsea, which is your football clubs, how they own that. Okay. Now, this will serve as another moral and monetary leverage as the rest of the world attempts to stop Russia. Footballers are wearing or they are dressed in war, no war jerseys. In their dresses, they have written no war. Okay. The World Judo Federation has removed Putin from his top post in the sport. So, how sports is taking and actively, uh, you know, participating here. Sport upon sport. Now, very important, this phrase. So, noun should be in singular before and after. If you use the same noun word before and after a preposition, this is a grammar rule. It should be singular. Okay. Sport upon sport. Gymnastics, badminton. Okay. Why have is written here? Because we are talking about many sports here from gymnastics. We are talking about a range of sports starting from gymnastics to badminton have issued strong censure. They have cancelled the hosting rights of Russian cities. Okay, they have ordered non-display of flags. Okay, wherever their players, athletes participate, Russian flags will not be displayed. So, sport is taking a lead here, you can say that, right? Hmm. Okay, okay. Why is that so in international affairs? That is, that is international politics, right? That is how countries, um, you can say, deal with each other. Okay, huh. right. So, guys, sport upon sport. Remember this grammar rule also. So, you can see everywhere, right, the spotlight now, the focus is on the small groups, big, wealthy people who own the, who control the country of Russia, oligarchs. Okay, and how they own the clubs also, big clubs, sports clubs. Now, obviously, the countries, the sports federations are taking them out. Right, they are, they are removing them, they are banning them, they are cancelling their hosting rights. Okay, so uh, if you talk about sports, definitely a uh, lot is being done to, to give a lesson to Russia. Okay, uh, so Chelsea or Chelsea is basically <clears throat> your particular team, right? Uh, Chelsea is the team 
uh, your sports team which the oligarchs own chelsea club okay so uh, you understand how their membership is taken away right huh. and uh, see english professional football club okay which is based in west london now russians are crazy about football and with all of these you can understand okay uh, they are being taught a lesson by the sports community everywhere okay next no 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 puja shri they players are also they will not ban they will not accept players uh, from russia their their flags are banned kuch bhi ha manoj is writing a song for russia now ha huh? everybody is against right sports community also is against war okay so all the players names are mentioned guys okay ha huh. so poignant is actually guys causing sadness okay huh. causing not important i will just correct here po poignant opposition means opposition is when you go against something okay ha huh. so the most you can say touching poignant is touching something which create or cause a very strong feeling okay ha huh. russian big names okay on the international circuit their opposition to the war there are people uh, you know big players who are opposing the war that is the most touching thing that is what is mentioned poignant opposition okay all right ha huh. so uh, andre andre rublev scribbled no war on camera after winning at dubai okay then there are other peter swidler alexandra they have taken a stand against war okay they cancel uh fid cancelled its olympiad in russia okay anatoly karpov was put on eu list of sanctions freezing his assets okay um chess moves have come to life means russia who is a big big you can say a powerful influence of the sport is expected to pay attention to all of these even the big names the sports players they are against war and they are coming out and definitely taking a stand right Uh, so this is what is mentioned okay uh, pro war is which is for it pro means for okay uh, so the pro war legislator who was legislator name is given actually okay he was put on the eu list of sanctions okay his assets were frozen because he was supporting war pro war means somebody who supporting war okay pro war is supporting war so uh ha huh, pro war uh, gm and legislator anatoly karpov who was supporting the war his assets are frozen he cannot use it okay he has blocked for him the travel has been blocked okay huh. so anybody who supporting war there are there are act actions against them also sports person have come out and 
talked about how they are against right the war okay uh, so he is a chess player anatoly he is a legislator chess player okay uh, so uh, though he supported the war the uh, uh, general manager supported the war but he is again um, definitely banned because of his stance because of its support for war okay okay yeah uh, fid international yes chess federation okay so a uh, good question by the way hariharan excellent uh, uh, question acha hariharan has a very good doubt the grand behemoth of that sport now both these words are coming together grand and behemoth because behemoth is also powerful and big right so grand behemoth of that sport which is okay um uh, behemoth we use for any organization that is powerful that is big that can influence or control okay ha huh. so two words are used to describe it the grand behemoth means the very big which is okay behemoth is a noun word therefore grand is okay good question by the way behemoth is a noun word okay monstrous huge creature large okay because we are using behemoth as a noun yeah definitely grand can be used as an adjective theek hmm. hai no this is the wall uh, manoj ha grand is adjective guys remember behemoth is used as a noun word okay so very very good question hariharan very good question theek hai so sports players okay are also against war those who are not they have been also uh, you know put on a their assets have been frozen they have uh, been restricted there are a lot of sanctions on them right so basically in the end russia must take pay attention to this right so because it is a very very powerful nation of the sport okay chess you know russia and chess if you have watched netflix series guys uh, which one was that netflix series on chess queen's gambit you will know russia okay and chess relation right so tone overall what is it uh, from the starting from checkmate russia checkmate russia russia is going to lose because people sports person are also going against it right so checkmate russia what is the tone exactly you will say here critical मैं चेक कहा कर रही हूँ गार्गी कुछ भी हैव शिफ्टेड मैंशन वॉट यू मीन बाय अरुण वॉट यू मीन बाय दैट अरुण ओके क्रिटिकल क्रिटिकल एवरीबडी यस अगेंस्ट ऑब्वियसली हाउ स्पोर्ट पर्सन आर कमिंग अप एंड अगेंस्ट वॉट रशियाज इन्वेजन क्रिटिकल राइट ऑल्सो यस इन अ वे प्रोवोकेटिव बिकॉज इन द एंड यू कैन सी द लाइन्स राइट provocative in uh, now that you know these actions are taken by sports personality sport is also condemning the action of russia going against russia means uh, now russia should pay attention in that sense yeah little bit provocative correct not analytical analytical has many many data and then conclusion okay right ha huh. uh, not directly criticizing but it is against russia's invasion for sure yes akhil and more of provocative i will also say because yes because we are mentioning in the lines that yeah uh, now it is time for russia to pay attention to what is happening how the sports club the sports community is going against right their their move of invasion now grammar lessons uh, very very important one if i have to tell you here sport upon sport this is a rule which we also guys do in grammar uh, sport upon sport so if there is a noun word and the same noun word before and after a preposition before and after a preposition same noun word then it has to be in singular town after town country after country back to back all of these other other examples right it has to be in singular back to back town after town okay etc all these are your examples okay right now uh, the other one which you asked guys which was important grand is 
adjective therefore it can be used for the noun which is behemoth behemoth is large uh, you can say organization large creature also we say large creature so therefore grand behemoth was correct okay now some important words from this particular editorial cliche what is cliche cliche he gave a very cliched proposal the boy gave a very cliched proposal dull old fashion boring again repeating the same thing again and again okay so it becomes very very dull and boring right cliched okay it is repeated so often that it is no more interesting okay hmm. getting it huh. so cliched so often repeated that it is becomes becomes boring not very very uh -huh, interesting right excessively used idea okay uh, exactly too many times same thing repeated excessively used lines or ideas okay nothing creative dull anvi uh, anvi is mundane yes behemoth is a noun word meaning big creature big organization behemoth is big and powerful okay noun word meaning huge enormous powerful who are oligarchs like i said a selected like i gave you example guys for petroleum in industry i could remember because in in your uh, economics also you study this right oligarchy competition types of competition oligarch means ruler or you can say a few people who have the power okay small group okay of powerful people who control an industry a country mundane yes mundane is also same okay ha huh. strong and powerful leverage as a cliche part of speech uh dull boring so what will it be if we des describe something as cliche obviously adjective okay we describe a, uh, for example uh even even it is used as a noun okay cliched as an adjective ha huh. otherwise as a noun something which is dull something an idea which is repeated too often because it is an idea we say it as a noun also cliche is a noun it's a cliche we say it's a cliche okay it's an idea which is repeated too often it's a noun word and cliched also we use as an adjective okay uh leverage is verb which means to put to use okay leverage is a word verb verb word okay ventured means enter into okay venture okay enter into start something new okay next one don don means obviously put an item of clothing okay put on get dressed in don get dressed in okay so in the dressing room the players donned their football shirts okay the players donned their football shirts dismay dismay is a feeling of concern okay it is a strong feeling now feeling name means noun okay strong feeling of disappointment of sadness okay dismay it's a feeling name so it is a noun word okay clout clout is basically your influence your power again it is basic state or condition of influence having influence power okay he has a lot of clout in the company clout your influence your power okay condemnation you all know censure revoke condemn criticize okay same thing but condemnation is also here noun word okay act of 
कंडेमिंग एक्ट ऑफ क्रिटिसाइजिंग निंदा करना किसी का ठीक है सेंशर रिवोकिंग यू ऑल नो कैंसिलिंग बिकॉज हाँ मेकिंग इन वैलिड वर्ब कैंसिल मेक इन वैलिड यू कैन ऑल्सो से नलिफाई इनवैलिडेट खारिज करना बेसिकली वी से खारिज करना या क्या होता है इनवैलिडेट इन हिंदी आई थिंक दैट ओनली कैंसिल ऑफिशियली कैंसिल रिपील स्क्रैप एब्रोगेट वेरी गुड माथी हाँ ओके सो दीज आर रेगुलर वर्ड्स बट इंपॉर्टेंट रेगुलर बट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स विच यू शुड बी फेमिलियर विथ फॉर ऑल ऑल ऑफ यू ओके रुचिता यू हैव टू जॉइन एट सेवन एम डेली ओके फॉर एडिटोरियल यू आर अट लेट नाउ सी दे आर दर टू बाय द वे कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन वी आर ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च बेसिकली अ न्यू मंथ फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू वन सिंगल मंथ बिफोर योर एग्जाम आर बी आई असिस्टेंट ओके सो रीड कंटिन्यू रीडिंग अ लॉट एंड प्रैक्टिस गाइज लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस रिविजन रिक्वायर्ड ऑन टॉप एट होम रिपोर्टिंग साइबर अटैक्स दीज टू आर एडिटोरियल यू कैन रीड फ्रॉम दी हिंदू live up to there is a phrase which was given okay and also there were other phrases like for example in the wake of okay so basic phrases which you should know live up to then we have in the wake of uh, then pulling its weight working as hard sliver of hope all of these you should know sliver of hope hope means very little hope sliver of hope okay put your weight in which means work as hard as somebody else 1 2 3 4 common phrases okay which you have to mention in the comments below so that you remember it for the long term for the pdfs guys you already know my telegram channel and group for channel channel if you join then there will be no chat you will get the pdfs easily on the channel there are no chats allowed but yeah you get the pdfs at one place harshita krana the gram about okay now use code harshita for discount and you can use uh, this code for any of the courses on all about ssc banking insurance upsc anything you buy on all about right subscribe like and share you know i'll see you again at 5 pm in the evening today there will be no disturbance by the way and we'll have a quiz with some excellent questions again for rbi assistant it will be speed practice today also so i want maximum all of you to join in i want a good participation in the evening it will be a very very good session guys i can promise you that in the evening but i want maximum participation okay acha evening time 7 baje kar de bahut late nahi hoga vijay 7 pm is too late 7 to 8 so 5 to 6 is okay you can watch recorded if certain days you are not able to watch live okay right now is the time for musk right i am taking musk for a walk now he is is there on my puja he is sitting there on my feet for job people ha huh, vijay okay i actually earlier timing was 7 pm also 7 pm only but there are other sessions happening in the evening so i'll get i'll i'll think about that Okay and uh, yeah LPS is also started so there are a lot of other sessions on, at seven. Okay classes yeah collide otherwise. ठीक है हाँ so we'll continue for that session in the evening at five only for some time then we'll see. Okay yeah practice batch guys very important RBI practice batch is starting so if you have not joined that course do it for prelims okay and हाँ use code Harshita. and guys again a very very happy mahashivratri to all of you okay all the wishes and blessings to all i'll see you again in the evening have a great day guys have a great day